We are actually headed to the Department of Motor Vehicles because, well, I'm going to be honest with you, I do have to turn in the plate from my Tundra before they flag my license. Secondly, my insurance is about to drop me for this motorcycle if I don't go get my endorsement. Uh, oh. See? People trying to kill me. saying before I almost died. Oh, I'm headed to the DMV to uh, get my motorcycle endorsement. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy. I've been riding motorcycles for forever. I own motorcycles off and on forever. There was at one point in time in my life when I didn't own a motorcycle where I had to renew my driver's license and the person behind the counter said, hey, would you like to uh, transfer your endorsement over to your new license? It'd be uh, $40 or $20, whatever it was. I don't know, it's been so long ago. There was a time in my life where I was like, mm, I don't know, I could really use that $20. I still have times like that, but uh, a lot worse back then. But anyways, so I didn't get them transferred. I hadn't had them in several years, but nobody cared when I had the shadow. Okay. Siri, are you okay? No one cared when I had the shadow, uh, whether or not I had an endorsement insurance company was fine. When I bought this Harley, they sent me a letter and they're like, hey, we're going to need you to get your endorsement. Uh, if you don't get it by this date, we're going to drop you. So I waited till the absolute last second, which is completely normal for me. And uh, so, yeah, I have to get that done today or they're going to drop me. Today is Friday. I took the day off. This is my vacation officially starts today. Uh, we're going to finish packing things up tomorrow and we are headed out Sunday, headed for a vacation in Florida, going to the beach my favorite spot man but you know i haven't been to that many places in florida uh we love the beach but I, I, i'm talking about beaches when i say florida we haven't been to many different beaches but uh we have been to some in alabama orange beach gulf shore stuff man but we the water just ain't blue man you know so we we like it over there a little bit closer to destin yeah man that's where we're headed i'm taking my bike with me this year uh, loading it up into a trailer and taking it I cannot wait so anyways that was just a really long introduction to say that's where we're headed I don't know how much I'll record of that process uh, I don't think they'll let me record anything I know there's a written test and then I think there's like a little driving test I have to do I may try to sneak the camera on we'll see so let's do that Thing looks kind of small <laughs> and all of this right here by the airport all of the roads are really screwy one ways and gps was telling me to turn here one way and i started turning then it said it was a one way i couldn't so they changed some stuff so they better not be trying to be sneaky on this driving test that's how we bring license plates in these days excuse the breathing heavy i'm fat I am a little early. Hopefully I can get some kind of footage of this process. We'll see. There's a good chance we won't. Look at like somebody's here riding a little little bike here. I just got it, brand new. say really bad things about this place the people here were not very friendly uh, I know it's the DMV but 
dang. They just really should not be in this field if, they, if this isn't what they want to do. I didn't know that you had to log on and make an appointment to go to the DMV since COVID. You can't even go in and get a number anymore like you used to. You have to have an appointment. There's nowhere, no signs, there's no literature of anything that tells you what you have to have with you in order to do certain things. So you have to get an appointment and hope to God you got everything that you need because if you don't, they're not gonna do anything. So how are you supposed to know what you need? So you make an appointment to know what you need, I guess, then you make another appointment to go actually do it. That's what's happened today. I didn't need anything but a driver's license to take the actual computer test. Yeah, I passed it. Part of my frustration could be that I'm just aggravated with the fact that they have all these rules of things like you have to have an inspection sticker for your motorcycle. That is so stupid. Inspection stickers in general for regular vehicles is stupid to me. Now I know, yeah, it's nice to have some sort of inspection to make sure that vehicles that are on the road are safe. Look at this. Hold up. But it's a joke. <laughs> it really is. I mean, if you know somebody, which most people do, uh, you know that one place you can go, it really doesn't matter. They just give you a sticker anyways. And then the places that are really strict on it that do inspection stickers and, uh, you know, they check everything like they're supposed to, nobody gets their inspection stickers there. <laughs> it's just a really stupid thing. Basically, the police already do that. They watch out to make sure that your vehicle passes all these you know safety things and that's really what they're looking for i think that the police are doing a fantastic job of that we do not need louisiana inspection stickers as a matter of fact if you look at my truck i haven't had one because they're stupid for several years because they're stupid other states don't have them because they're stupid and i've never seen a motorcycle with one you won't see this one with one now i may have to go get one just to take this stupid test <laughs> but i'm not sticking it to the bike and the person in there is like oh yeah you don't have to stick it on there you just have to have it are you freaking kidding me post office where I was thinking about getting a P.O. box. I don't know, man. It's just sketchy. I don't know. We might not get a P.O. box uh, from there. I think we have a small one that's closer to my house. We'll see. I don't want to bore you with the things that I've got going on. We're just getting stuff done, getting ready for vacation. Man, I'm excited about that. Stay tuned. Next couple of videos are going to be uh, if I can get the videos out soon, <laughs> they're going to be pretty cool. we got a lot of things planned. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you saw something you like in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you're not subscribed, man, I'd appreciate if you'd done that. So far for the past eight months, I've been able to post at least one video a week. Man, I'm going to try to continue that schedule. It used to be Wednesdays, but now it's pretty much just uh, when I get it done. My goal with this channel is to meet people. I think it'd be cool to have like a big meetup, group rides. I think it'd be real cool like some of these other big bloggers that, you know, they buy whole motorcycles and give them away. Man, that'd be pretty cool. I love to give some stuff away to you guys. We do that stuff anyways. I mean, not on YouTube. I don't find people on YouTube to give stuff to, but we like to give stuff away to random people. Uh, we hadn't got to in a while, so I'm itching to do that now. I always pay for people behind me and like drive through lanes and stuff. I thought about making a video of, of that, just go and spend the day paying for people's food behind me. That may be coming up soon. All right, guys, I'm rambling on, so I appreciate you. Till next time, y'all take it easy.